Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Trifium and welcome back to another Misfits Racing and Highlights video. We are back in Spain. It's Tier 1 Racing Action and this race was an absolute thriller. This video only covers just a fraction of the highlights. We hope you enjoy. It's Nigel on pole position here, setting that time on the softs. Of course, King in P2 lining up next to him. Brain Stew in third, Bitto in fourth, the Spaniard looking for a win around home, I imagine. Freeware in fifth, of course, some idiot in sixth, making his debut as a reserve today. Shenjie in seventh, Zamis in eighth, with Yoda in ninth. Astrodate rounding off the top ten. Oh, it's going to be a very intense run down into turn one. Going to be looking very closely as best we can at that action. Of course, Mikael, please do us the honor here, take us away. So we're just going to wait for the cars to start revving their engines. The five lights are on, at least for the drivers, and the lights are out, and away we go. Looks like a pretty decent start from most of the grid. Actually, Nigel getting away horribly. S-King is already alongside him, heading into turn one. He takes the lead. Alex Bitto behind him in the Ferrari gets an amazing start. It's three wide for the leaders, heading down into turn one. There's a little bit of a tap there from Nigel. It sets Alex Bitto off a little bit. That's Brace through up into third place. Freeway looking around the outside, some idiot now up into 6th place. Chen Jie is still holding his position in 8th, and Remco Van Putin for the Renault squad all the way up into ninth place as Hyper seems to have fallen down the grid all the way down to 20th place. Meanwhile, Zamis wheel to wheel with Yoda, and he's made it work. He's into 10th position, getting ahead of the McLaren, and there's battles going all over this circuit. Chen Jie in 8th. Henner separates him and some idiot now, and Henner is looking at some idiot. Shenjie was having a look on the inside. Now he's under threat. That's the Renault of Remco Van Putin getting ahead, and Zamis has robbed Shenjie as well. And things aren't going too great, but he's made a move back on the Red Bull coming out of the right-hander, and this is just beautiful racing. Nobody's out. The exchange of positions is great, and as I say that, Jean and Astrator wheel-to-wheel, and this is just fantastic battling all over this circuit. Oh, the car has Rackety. Rackety's out. He's lofted at the exit of turn nine. And that is a full course caution. The safety car is out, ladies and gentlemen, on lap five of this race. And my goodness, I think I need to catch my breath with this. This is absolutely amazing. I think the safety car has been called in, and it is somebody its teammate, Brains, who lead them away as they make their way down into turn one. Looks like a pretty decent restart for the Mercedes. Remco Van Pruden only within a tenth and a half of the Alpha Terra in front of him. Chenjie goes super, super deep into turn one. But Remco Van Pruden not able to capitalize just yet. Yoda right behind him. You can just see he's looking for a, a way past. But he just doesn't have the extra kind of overspeed that he needs to really make a dive stick. And most of these drivers holding station off this restart. But there are some very, very fast guys, like he was saying, Strifium who have made that pit stop early, who did come in under the safety car, and now are in at that bottom 10. So they'll definitely be looking to try and make up some ground and at least some time on their rivals. Coming through two, but it's Hyper and Neon Rays now wheel to wheel, and this is gonna give Alex an opportunity. It's his teammate dragging him along there. Coming into turn four now, Hyper on the inside, and how's this gonna go? We've seen them come together in qualifying. Of course, it may have been accidental. We'll see now. It's Alex with a very serious lunge on his teammate. He has made the move. And Nigel is very tight to the rear of this. Is Zamis. He's now made his way ahead of the German in the racing point. That's Fubar. And now the other German, Freeware, getting out in front. And we've seen Fubar. It looks like Fubar has had an issue. And he has. You hate to see it. And we saw it in Quali, Mikal. But that is the racing point now struggling, and he is going to head down into the pit lane. And now Alex Bitto, oh, the Spaniard, good. is dropping through this grid. He has had an issue, looks like, outside of turn one. And I don't know what happened there as we were looking at what was going on in the rear of this grid. But we move on over. It's the Alfa Romeo of Nigel looking for a move on Hyper. And now that's the racing point of Neon Rays. He is off. And he has a major chunk of front wing damage. There is some fast movers coming through, and he has to be very careful here to get out of the way and not rejoin the circuit unsafely. He waits for everybody to move by, and we've had a major spell of drama here in this Grand Prix now after we've already had one safety car deployed. For a move on Hyper after Alex Bitto has had his off. He really needs to get past this Ferrari. You can just see the overspeed heading into turn one. He will commit to the outside line. A little bit of a lock up there from the Ferrari on the inside, but it looks like Nigel will be able to get out in front for the time being. Hyper trying to keep it round on the inside will now then drift to the outside and now s king is on the attack as well heading on the inside into turn four hyper leaving all the space that he possibly can and some idiot now 
is on the attack. Hyper's going to get loose out again to another place as some idiot heading into turn five down the inside of the Ferrari, and Hyper has just lost three positions of space of five corners. Take a look as Nigel now going to be back in a very solid running position. Where is Brain Stew? He's not going to come out anywhere or even remotely oh, close to the front. Look at his teammate, some idiot down the inside of Nigel heading into turn one. This is for the figurative race lead, ladies and gentlemen. Some idiot now having the inside for turn three. They're still wheel to wheel heading up the hill through the fast right hander. But it looks like some idiot will get that move done. We'll have the inside line for turn four. Unless Nigel can hold it around the outside. He's trying to, but some idiot closes that door off. And some idiot now into P2 and the figurative net, net race lead. Right, heading out of the final corner. Of course, both cars will have DRS as there is a fight going on at the head of this train. Nigel and Eskin going side by side into turn number one. And it looks like. Rainstu has actually made that move on Zamus as well for that P7 spot. So moves happening all across this train, but it's still a DRS train nonetheless. S King has fallen out of DRS range. It's Hyper. Hyper's had enough at turn nine, and we have the second safety car of the race. Oh, and it's just scenes here now in Barcelona as that has completely thrown a wrench in this race. Race at hand as we are about to start lap 28 of 33 of this race. Chanjay has pulled the pin. It is green flag running as soon as he crosses that start finish line, which will be right about now. And it looks like some idiot has gotten a very, very good restart here. Only two tenths behind Nigel in second place. There's also a battle going on between Zamis and Freeware. As Freeware, a bit later on the brakes, heading into turn one, going semi defensive. Zamis looks like he's had a little bit of a half spin as well. He's lost a position to Yoda and Astrodite, so he's now down into 10th place. He has that overtake button on. Nigel setting the fastest lap of the race so far. Chenjay doing very well. He will hold that racing line on the outside. Somebody looking down the inside. Is he far enough ahead into the brakes? So they're still side by side through turn two. And that's Chenjay! That's oh, a huge next. issue a there. Collision. Oh massive, no. Massive, massive collision. S King and Shenje both going off there. Nigel and some idiot. Remco Van Pruten, some two seconds behind that. Yoda a second and a half behind that as there's a fight now in the lower positions. Neon Rays are making the move on Swifty there for P12. And on the final lap strip. Oh, we're seeing it how we wanted to see it. Lots of action here in Spain. And right now it's Freeware looking at Brain Stew. And you see a switch between the two, and it's wheel to wheel. Freeware on the inside. Looks like he's made the move for now. Brain Stew and him continuing to battle, and that is going to be BTFU. And Brain Stew gets mugged by both of them. And now it's Shenjay there as well, who's looking for P9. What racing we've seen as Nigel takes the checkered flag, and it looks like some idiot coming across with his MRL debut in second position here. And it was a fantastic battle for the podium positions, as look at how quickly this grid is coming across the line here after amazing racing in Spain. Wow.